Hi, I'm Aditya Raj Kaul and I'm the contributing editor for CNN News 18 in New Delhi. And even as I speak right now with you, uh, there's a lockdown that's underway in the national capital. Uh, there are thousands of cases of the coronavirus that are coming in even today. Uh, this is the second massive wave of the virus here in India. Last year, of course, it did happen. But this year, the numbers are mind boggling. Uh, the kind of cases that are coming in, the deaths that are happening and also the helplessness on the streets is uh, uh, very much reflective of the fact that there's been failure uh, of the governments at the central level and at the state level as well. Uh, there are almost 20 to 25,000 cases coming every single day in the national capital, New Delhi. Uh, there are, of course, uh, uh, several others who are dying also in Delhi. There are uh, 300 to 350 people dying every single day. That means 15 to 20 deaths that are happening every hour. Uh, Maharashtra is also another state that's been suffering in this uh, crisis. Uh, we know, of course, that uh, Maharashtra is reporting 65,000 to 70,000 cases every day and close to 800 to 1,000 deaths. In the country, we know that there are more than 350,000 cases coming every single day and close to 3,000 deaths happening. It is a nightmare situation for all Indians at this particular moment. Well, there's been a lot of criticism of uh, the governments at the center, at the state, uh, which have failed to, in fact, cope with the kind of numbers that are coming in of the patients infected with coronavirus, COVID-19. But uh, the criticism mainly has been around the elections that have been happening in five states and union territories, uh, campaigning and rallies that were allowed by the election commission, even though uh, there was a massive surge that was happening in India. In particular, in West Bengal also, there, where there are many cases now coming in, uh, the election commission woke up pretty late after the prime minister himself decided that he will go on virtual mode and not uh, really address any massive big rallies. It was only then that the election commission came out and said that it will not allow any massive crowds or rallies or padyatras in uh, West Bengal and other areas. So clearly, the Madras High Court has also ripped apart the election commission of India and stating that they should be in fact uh, tried for murder, such as the kind of lackadaisical approach and uh, horror that's witnessed on the street. So as of now, there is, uh, in fact, oxygen supply and as well as uh, beds that are lacking on the streets of the national capital, Delhi. Delhi NCR is facing a massive crisis that I personally haven't really seen before. So uh, it is clearly a very helpless situation. Uh, people are trying to help each other in this uh, crisis. Even as we face a massive crisis of, you know, oxygen supply and also beds, uh, there are several NGOs and individuals and volunteers who have come up and are helping each other. It is the resilience of the common man that is really driving, uh, you know, this compassion and empathy uh, for those who are in distress. Uh, it's very much visible all across Delhi and NCR where there is, of course, a lockdown underway for more than a week now. And uh, there are several WhatsApp groups that are coming in. I personally see this as an entire parallel government being run voluntarily. Uh, by doctors, by health workers, by other professionals who have come out and are trying to help those in distress. There are many who need ICU beds, who need ventilators. And now Delhi government and the central government have come up with several facilities uh, in stadiums and other places where thousand bedded accommodations have been made with medical facilities. Uh, the paramilitary forces have been roped mm -hmm. in as well. The Indian Air Force has been roped in for the purpose of helping out uh, with the oxygen supply and tankers that have been brought in from Dubai and other places. International help is also finally coming in. US, UK, Germany, France, Australia, Singapore, UAE, Japan and several other countries have promised help and aid is already arriving from several countries including US and UK and the vaccination drive will also pick up and it's just hoping that things normalize and people certainly are helped.